Hello friends, in this video I would like to tell you about what is photodiode and let's see what are the outcomes of this video. First outcome is what is diode and next one is what is photodiode and third one is constructional details of photodiode. After that we will go to discuss about what is dark current and what are the applications of photodiode and what are the advantages and disadvantages of photodiode and let's we discussed about what are the key points in photodiode. Now let's see first what is diode. A diode is a semiconductor device with two terminals. Here we have two terminals in a diode. First terminal is anode and another one is cathode. It conducts, it conducts the current in only one direction is known as diode. Diode is nothing but it is a semiconductor device which is having two terminals. First one is anode and second one is cathode and it is used to conduct the current in only one direction. This is the diode. And let's see what is photodiode. A photodiode is invented is invented by John and Shiv in 1948 at Bell Labs. It was invented by John and Shiv in 1948 at Bell Labs. A photodiode is is a semiconductor device that converts light into an electrical current here simply we can say what is photodiode means it is a semiconductor device photodiode is used to convert the light energy into electrical energy led is used to convert the electrical energy into light energy and photodiode is the exact reverse operation of led that is it converts the light energy into the electrical energy the current is the generated when photons are absorbed in the photodiodes. Whenever the light strikes the photodiode, then this photodiode absorbs that photons in the light and it produces the electricity. Okay, let's see, let's see what is the symbol of photodiode. This is the symbol for photodiode. This is the anode, this is the cathode, and these two arrows, these two arrows indicates light falling on the photodiode we know whenever the light falling on the photodiode then only the current is produced that's why i represent the light as these arrows okay now let's see constructional details of photodiode first constructional detail is the photodiode is operating under a reverse bias condition we know most of the diodes are operated under a forward bias condition but photodiode is operated under a reverse bias condition. Okay, let's see next one is that is a positive terminal of the battery is connected to the n-type and negative terminal of the battery is connected to the p-type. We know reverse bias means positive terminal is connected to the n-type and negative terminal is connected to the p-type of the diode. And coming to third point, under reverse bias, before diode exposed to light, a small current present in a diode known as dark current. Dark current means if we expose the our photodiode into light, then by absorbing the light, it generates the electricity. But before exposing it into the light, a small amount of current present into the photodiode. That small amount of current is nothing but dark current. Okay. Now let's see what is construction of photodiode here observe this is the this complete thing is the diode and here observe this is a p type that is nothing but anode and this is the n type here observe this p type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and this n type is connected to the positive terminal of the battery that means it is connected under a reverse bias okay we know under reverse bias our depletion layer width is very large under reverse bias, the depletion layer width is very large. That's why here, this dotted lines, observe, this dotted lines. Here also, this dotted line indicates the depletion layer. Here, this all thing, this is the depletion layer. Okay. Here, observe, depletion layer width is very large because it is under the reverse bias condition. Here, observe, some arrows are falling on the depletion layer. That arrows are nothing but photons in the light. Whenever the photons in the light strikes the depletion layer, then it forms electron hole pairs. Through the, due to that electron hole pairs, a current will form on the 
photodiode that current is nothing but photon current okay in photodiode we have two types of currents first one is photon current and second one is dark current dark current present before the exposing into the light and photon current present uh, at exposing the light and here the total current in the photodiode is nothing but photon current plus dark current okay this is the construction of photodiode let's see working principle of a photodiode this is the working principle of a photodiode the working principle of a photodiode is when a photodiode is exposed to a light when a photodiode is exposed to a light then photons in the light strikes the diode rubzo photons in the light strikes the diode it makes a couple of an electron hole pair whenever the photons in the light strikes the diode then it makes a electron hole pairs okay electron hole pairs therefore holes in the region moves towards the anode that is holes moves towards the anode and electrons moves towards the cathode okay whenever this electron hole pair forms then the holes in any region moves towards the anode and electrons in any region either in p type or n type moves towards the cathode this moment of electrons forms a current that current is nothing but photo current will be generated okay this moment of electrons towards the cathode form a current that current is nothing but photo current okay this is the principle of photodiode now let's see what is dark current in the absence of light a small current present in the photodiode in the absence of light also a small amount of very small amount of current present in a photodiode this current is known as dark current okay this current is known as dark current dark current is due to thermally generated minority carriers how the dark current is found means without any light it is due to thermally generated minority carriers due to thermally generated minority carriers the dark current is formed okay and last one is it is denoted by i lambda dark current dark current is denoted by i lambda okay let's see reverse bias uh, orientation I already uh, said to you the photodiode is connected only in reverse bias okay now let's see reverse bias construction reverse bias means the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the p type and positive terminal of the battery is connected to the n type then the diode is under the reverse bias reverse bias nothing but the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the p type and positive terminal of the battery is connected to the n type then the diode is under the reverse bias condition okay now let's see why we use photodiode is in reverse bias only okay we have two biasing conditions first one is forward bias and second one is reverse bias but why we use photodiode is in reverse bias only means let's see this points first point is we can use photodiode is in forward bias also we can use photodiode is in forward bias also but the condition is but in forward bias depletion layer width is very thin we know in forward bias the current flowing in the diode is very fast that means here the depletion layer width is very thin that's why the generation of current in photodiode is also very small we know whenever the light falls on the depletion layer of the photodiode then only electron hole pairs are formed whenever the electron hole pairs are formed then current produced in the photodiode if the depletion layer width is very small then the light exposed to the or light falling to the diode in turn to the diode also small then current produced on the diode also very small okay whenever our depletion layer width is large then only the current is produced okay and the next point but in case of reverse bias but in case of reverse bias the depletion layer width is large we know in reverse bias depletion layer width is large when compared to the forward bias when compared to the forward bias depletion layer width is very large when our depletion layer width is large then generation of current in photodiode is also more 
whenever the depletion layer width is large then the generation of current in photo layer is also more next point c that's why we prefer photo layer is in reverse bias why we use photo layer is in reverse bias means in reverse bias our depletion layer width is very large that's why we are using photo layer is in reverse bias let's let's see what are the vi characteristics of photo layer here observe these are the vi characteristics of photo layer on x axis i take voltage and on a, a y axis i take what is current current in milli and micro okay now let's see reverse bias condition because uh, we are not using photo layer in forward bias here observe whenever the voltage reaches to whenever the current reaches to particular value here observe whenever the current reaches to particular value then current will become a constant and only voltage is increasing here observe only voltage is increasing and here also i2 current is constant and voltage v2 is increasing here also i3 current is constant and voltage v3 is increasing this is the characteristics of photo diode whenever a particular current is reach then if we increase the voltage also the current will become a constant okay now let's see here i4 is greater than i3 is greater than i2 is greater than i1 here i4 current is more here observe this i4 current is more and i3 current is somewhat less than i4 and i2 current is somewhat less than i3 and i4 and i1 is very less okay these are the characteristics of vi characteristics of the photo diode let's see what are the applications of the photo diode here we have main three types of applications first one is in communications in communication we are using photo diode next in safety equipment and in industrial first what is in communication in communication in fiber optic links we are using photo diodes and next one is optical communication in optical communication also we are using the photo diodes next one third one is optical remote control in optical remote control also we are using photo diode next second one is safety equipment in safety equipments that is like smoke detectors and flame detectors we are using photo diodes and the third one is industrial we are using as a encoder brightness control and position sensors okay these are the applications of photo diode now let's see what are the advantages of photo diode the lean the linearity if the diode is good with respect to the incident light first advantage is the linearity of the diode is very good with respect to the incident light that means if the incident light is increasing the current produced by the diode also increasing okay now let's see noise is low in photo diode noise is very low third one is the response is wide spectral here the response is very wide spectral fourth one is light weight and compact the weight of the photo diode is very less and it is very compactable fifth one is long life and fifth one is long life these are the advantages of photo diode let's see what are the disadvantages of photo diode okay it depends on the temperature photo diode is in, depends on the temperature this is one of the disadvantages and it has very low sensitivity poor temperature stability and the last one is light sensitive device these are the disadvantages of photo diode let's see the key points of photo diode first key point is reverse current is not depends on the reverse voltage it is totally depends on the light intensity here in reverse bias a current is produced that is nothing but reverse current or photon current that photon current is not only not depends on the voltage what we apply it completely depends on the light intensity when the photon of sufficient energy strikes the diode then current is generated this mechanism is known as inner photo electric effect whenever the photons in the light strikes the diode then current is formed we know and that effect is known that mechanism is known as inner photo electric effect okay let's see last point 
the total current in the photodiode is the sum of the dark current and photo current the total current in the photodiode is sum of the dark current and photo current these are about key points about photodiode and thank you thank you for watching this video